All right, so today I'm going to show you how to push your graffiti bubble text to the next level and distort it in this style. Let's go and select the type tool. Let's scale it up, press and hold shift. And we're going to change the font to Kelsey. This is the Kelsey one fill font. I'm going to right click, create outline, right click on group. And here I'm going to show you how you can distort these even further and customize it to make it look more better. So I'm going to select the letter N, for example, and I'm going to go and select the pencil. And all you need to do is just drag it from one of the sides and create an extension like this. And you might see it won't look perfect because we got some issues going on. As you can see, the pads are overlapping each other and crossing each other, which is not good. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. When you want to draw an extension, you must start from a pad. So you need to drag it on the pad like this. And for example, I'm going to go and connect it here with the other path. This is how you can do a more cleaner work. So now I'm going to do a better one now. I'm going to start with this path and I'm going to draw a bigger extension of the letter or a glyphs. Connect it with this anchor point right here. And there you go. I also going to do in the opposite direction where's the letter A. I'm going to start with this anchor point and do the same thing. Wow. That's it. Now there's you can see there's like a couple of issues going on. There's like not a clean curve here, but we can correct that. So I'm going to go and long click on the pencil, select the smooth tool and we can smoothen these. All you need to do is just draw on these things and it's going to customize it and remove some of the anchor points. And if you are still not satisfied enough, there's like a new tool in the latest Adobe Illustrator. So make sure to update your Adobe Illustrator so you can go to object path and you can select the new smooth tool. So check this out. If I'm going to increase this, it is going to smoothen the letter N. And this looks even better. It removed the unnecessary anchor points and it created the perfect composition. Okay, so I'm going to select all of it, right click group, and I'm going to change the fill color. And let's go to the effects, 3D materials, and click on inflate. You also get the panel settings right here. I'm going to increase the depth a little. I'm also going to go down and increase the perspective. Ooh, check that out. Let's go to the lighting, activate the shadows and click on the ray tracing. If you want to increase the image resolution of your 3D shapes, you can click the upper right corner or click the link in the description to check out that video as well. And this is how you make this advanced bubble text here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.